London can seem like a magical city to those who don't live there. The bright lights of the West End, the high-end shops of Regent Street, the stunning views down the Thames, all these and more make London a most desirable city these days. But back in the 90s it wasn't so glamorous. It's darkened streets, it's vile stench, it's inhabitants struggling to cope with the city swallowing them up. It was vast becoming a nightmare for those that lived in it. Writer-director Mike Lee, always a confrontational filmmaker, took a camera to London and made naked. It was a sensation at the Cannes Film Festival, winning Best Actor and Best Director awards. <laughs> at the Toronto Film Festival, it won the Critics' Prize. From acclaimed director Mike Lee, the creator of High Hopes and Life is Sweet, a different kind of movie. What is a proper relationship? Living with someone who talks to you after they've bunked you. The idea for Naked had its origins when Lee was a student in Manchester during the 1950s. A lecturer kept reminding the class that the next total eclipse would happen in August 1999. Lee used that as the jumping off point for including the idea that by the early 90s, when he'd started to fully flesh out the film, the millennium was coming up and all sorts of prophecies around the world were floating around. Originally called Untitled 92, Lee saw a story about Johnny, a frustrated idealist drifter who's hacked off at the world, being an interesting film for millennial preoccupations. Co-financed by Film4 and British Screen, the small cast spent six weeks improvising the film in an old office block in Marylebone High Street. Lee had written an outline of the story, but wanted the dialogue to be free-flowing and honest, but not improvised. It had to be planned out before. By the time filming commenced in September 1992, the cast knew their characters inside and out. They had at times, literally become them, especially David Thewlis and Greg Cutwell. People talk a lot about method acting. Brando, Pacino, Day-Lewis, all method actors in the traditional sense. David Thewlis, who was cast as Johnny, took the method acting idea seriously and started to wander around Soho while Lee secretly filmed him being an irritant and a loudmouth and a sleaze. But Lee wouldn't allow Thewlis to stay in character. He told him once the shot was done, he needed to pull out of Johnny and revert back to David. Greg Cutwell, who was cast as Jeremy slash Sebastian, also dabbled in the method acting. During secret filming in Selfridge's department store, Cutwell, in character as Jeremy, chatted up one of the staff and got her to follow him out of the store on the promise of sex. However, once around the corner, Lee told Cutwell to pull out of the character and just leave the woman standing there. The house used in the film, actually in Dalston, fits perfectly into the aesthetic and the storyline of the film. A seedy, wretched hovel that could so easily have doubled as one of the abandoned homes used as a drug den in the wire. Its walls paper thin and its staircase banister rocking as if it would be pulled out if anybody touched it. Filthy and grimy, a disgusting flea pit that nowadays would be seen as a fixer-upper, but back then almost constituted as a house to lock away the scum of London. There's so much to unpick in Naked. Let's start with the performances. Thewlis's Johnny has the kind of dialogue that at first seems witty, then becomes a bit tiresome, followed soon after by them turning into brutal barbs. Johnny's the type of guy who believes he's more intelligent than the rest, when in actual fact, He's just stumbling, he's an out of sorts small fish in a big pond whose only thoughts are actual quotes from Nostradamus. Thewlis inhabits the role so much that you can not only taste the saltiness of the character, but also smell the rancidness permeating from his every pore. The sequence involving Johnny and the security guard is a heady viewing experience. Thewlis streams off dialogue as if it's been written by L. Ron Hubbard for the MTV generation. It's quite the assault on the senses. This was a performance that stayed with Thewlis for many years afterwards. 
Jeremy is from the American Psycho School of Alpha Males, asking women if each of their tits are the same size, biting a woman's tongue when they kiss, and then demanding Sophie wear a nurse outfit while he aggressively fucks her. This is 90s yuppie, but at the opposite end of the living spectrum compared to Johnny. Jeremy is living off the Thatcher era riches that brought him power and money and greed, whereas the same era chewed up and spit out Johnny. And as much as Jeremy thinks that he has nothing in common with Johnny, in fact, they're two peas from the same pod. Abusers of women who think they can get away with it. Nobody's going to call them out on their continued assaults. However, they both get called out in a very different way by very different women. Johnny tries and fails to bed the girl from the calf. She's just too timid and nice for him. He realises she isn't the woman who fights back. He doesn't know how to deal with that. But this isn't a weak-willed woman. She just isn't intimidated by Johnny or his bullshit. And it's a shock to him, and one that he wasn't prepared for. Equally, Jeremy has no idea on how to respond when Louise, Johnny's ex-lover, asks him to unzip his flies. She grabs a knife, offers to cut off his dick and shove it up his arse. Jeremy smiles. He realises Louise is taking no shit. He wasn't expecting that from a northerner. Leslie Sharp as Louise brings some much needed humour and tenderness to the film and a big dollop of female bravado. Mike Lee believes he makes populist entertainment films, not the sugar-coated big blockbusters that Hollywood churn out, but instead movies that any audience would be able to understand. He thinks his audience is at least as intellectual as he is. He believes anybody can understand Naked. So why has this film been underappreciated for so long? Maybe because it deals with heavy subjects, and keeps the camera pointed on some truly troubling characters. And the film-going masses don't want to see real life painted like that. Doubling down on using dilapidated houses and brutalist buildings, the starkness of naked cinematography creates an oppressive environment. Couple that with one of the bleakest stories put on film, and you'll see why naked doesn't get mentioned much these days. Back in 2008, The Guardian asked, is Naked Britain's most underrated film? Underrated, no. Underappreciated, yes. Maybe it's because the film is seen as a celebration of rape, and that is, quite frankly, a disgusting idea for a film. Yet Naked isn't that. Lee's Naked is a sharp take on unacceptable male behaviour, and in this modern era of toxic masculinity being called out and dealt with, Lee's film feels much more optimistic in the battle of the beating down of the chauvinistic male alphas like Jeremy and Johnny. You look like my mother. Was your tattoo painful? Yeah. Good. Naked, a new film by Mike Lee.